Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover a remarkable discovery in behavioral science as researchers reveal that fruit flies begin to age faster when they see their dead companions and experience a stress response so intense it alters their biology. And the findings become even more striking when researchers look at how this exposure shapes their lifespan. Scientists in a study have found out that fruit flies who are raised in an environment surrounded by their dead fellow mates are more likely to have shorter spans of life than the others who were raised around living flies, reported Guardian. The research could prove fruitful for humans too, as the scientists explore ways how this study can be applied to people who, due to the nature of their jobs, are constantly surrounded by a mournful environment where they are close to the dead. Therefore, the conclusions of the study could be helpful for soldiers in conflict zones and healthcare workers. The research was headed by Christy Gendron and Scott Pletcher at the University of Michigan. For the study, the researchers brought up fruit flies in tiny containers filled with food. To understand how the flies will behave around the dead carcasses, the researchers kept living flies and tasty nutrients in one of the boxes, while in another container, they put freshly dead fruit flies. They then observed the behavioral changes that took place while feeding insects. The research outcomes suggest that the flies who were raised with their dead comrades died several weeks early in comparison to those who were raised without the sight of dead carcasses. The study further mentioned the biological changes that took place in the insects during the research. Not only did the flies ajeet a faster pace, they also exhibited other changes, like losing stored fat. This was viewed by the scientists as flies going through depression, leading to the changes in their lifespan. As per the study, the aging process in fruit flies surrounded by dead flies resulted in shortening up the lives of the flies by about 30%. The researchers also looked deep into the brain of the fruit flies to draw more substantial conclusions. As per their findings, there is a link between the neurons in the flies' brains and a protein secreted by them. As more and more neurons got active in the brain of the flies, there was more fluorescent protein these neurons produced. They found two types of neurons, namely R2 and R4. These neurons were seen to be activated in the brains of the flies who were surrounded by dead flies. Scientists did an interesting experiment to see what impact these neurons will have on the flies who were raised with living flies. When R2 and R4 were stimulated in healthy fruit flies, it resulted in cutting short the lifespan of these flies. Authors in PLOS Biology raised questions. Could motivational therapy or pharmacologic intervention in reward systems, much like what is done for addiction, slow aging? With the drugs which are already available and approved in the medical field, the research can be tested to see how human beings can benefit from these findings. In what sounds promising, this study can help find new treatments to slow aging in humans. Given our findings, the authors write, it seems plausible that the sight of dead conspecifics elucidates a depressive-like state that results in decreased longevity. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.